Now let's try to answer the question, why would you want to use Apache Superset? Like mentioned, Apache Superset is a data exploration visualization platform. So basically, you know, you want to use it when you have a lot of data that you want to explore and visualize. So I would say that if you have just the one data set that you want to explore in various ways and you want to do it on your own, kind of like a, do a deep dive into one data set, then I would not necessarily advise you to use Superset because Superset is more about data collaboration in my view. So it is about creating dashboards that a lot of people can view and those dashboards are limited by the visualization types found in Superset. And, and th there are quite a many, many visualizations, as you can see here in the gallery, but they're still fairly limited and the customization options, when you start working with these visualizations, you realize that they, they are fairly limited. Like if you want to adjust how the visualizations look, if you want to adjust the formatting of the number, stuff like that, you might hit uh, constraints quite early on. And this is not to bash Apache Superset, but it's good to understand what it's for. So it's for building dashboards to share for the rest of the organization. But if you want to do more like data science type of um, deep dives and, and, and modeling of the data, machine learning, then Superset is not necessarily for you. You might want to check something like um, Jupyter Notebooks and then a bunch of different uh, visualization libraries on top of notebooks such as Plotly or um, Matplotlib or whatever. So, so you might want to Google then Python data visualization as opposed to um, these kind of uh, visualization platforms where the, I think the keyword is the platform here. So basically you, you have a standardized way of creating data sets, uh, creating charts based on those data sets, and then creating interactive data uh, dashboards that your coworkers, your team members um, can access. And I guess there's nothing stopping you from making these completely public so that even um, un, uh, unauthenticated users, like basically random users on the internet could ex uh, explore your um, visualizations. Although, I guess then we're opening uh, another can of worms, which is how do you protect your database and uh, the web application running superset so that it doesn't get um, uh, attacked by malicious users, such as running queries that uh, take a lot of um, CPU from your database server and then potentially crash your database, for example. So that's out of scope for this discussion, but just something to keep in mind that you could theoretically use superset for publicly hosted dashboards for, let's say, nonprofits communicating funding status or, or whatever. But then I don't think um, Superset was especially designed for having um, kind of publicly hosted web applications, but rather internal uh, web applications. So again, a tool for sharing data rather than doing deep dives on your own. That's how I would compare Superset to doing, uh, let's say, Jupyter Notebooks or other of these R notebooks for uh, data science type of projects. And for that use case, meaning the, the sharing data with your team, I think Superset is a, is a great tool for. It's a little bit rough around the edges like open source tools often are. I think the interesting thing about Metabase is that it is this kind of hybrid, um, hybrid approach where you have the open source without the support but then you can self-host it for free, but then you have the, the commercial side, which means that the organization behind Metabase perhaps has more incentive to polish the product so that it's less rough around the edges compared to something like Superset, which is used by many high-profile um, high profile companies, but it's always kind of not their core business to develop it. And so it's perhaps less focused, less better funded than some of the commercial products. But again, on the other hand, uh, open source means that you can contribute. So if you find problems with Superset and you have the capabilities, either yourself or your team, you can think about, would you like to improve Superset as a uh, part of the, the community, which is uh, listed here. So here's a bunch of people who are contributing to um, Apache Superset. So, and there's a bunch of more, but this, I guess this is the core contributing team. So. Uh, and here's a list of some of the organizations using um, 
using supersets. So there's uh, high profile companies like Airbnb and Lyft. And, uh, and then there's a bunch of more specialized companies you might not recognize, but uh, nevertheless, very widely used. So um, I, I like it a lot personally, and I can recommend to check it out uh, if you kind of, if you recognize the need for a data visualization platform. Now in upcoming videos, my plan is to dive deep into Apache Superset. First of all, how do you use the SQL lab to create your first data visualizations? Um, how do you then turn that data set into different kind of visualization types? And what are the kind of distinct characteristics of each of these visualization types? Basically, depending on what your data looks like, one or more of, the, your, uh, of these preset visualizations might work for you. And there might be situations where you need to go back to the SQL lab and edit your data set so that it is compatible with the visualization type you're uh, looking for. So I would say comparing to something like Tableau, where I would say that the, the, the visualizations are fairly flexible. Again, even Tableau requires your data to be in a certain format to be able to use that specific visualization. But still, uh, I'm feeling that, for example, issues that I've run into with Superset is, for example, if your date is in the wrong format, it just doesn't work and you'll need to manually reformat it. Whereas with Tableau, it's been a while since I last used Tableau uh, extensively, but uh, I do remember that when I started using Superset for the first time, um, it did feel a little bit clunky with, with, with regard to some of these features, which are kind of more polished in, for example, Tableau. So I've personally used in a production situation, I've used Power BI, Tableau, and then uh, the, the predecessor of ClickSense, which is ClickView. So it's uh, kind of a previous generation of, of Clicks BI tools. And, uh, and currently I'm mostly using Superset and uh, Power BI for some other uh, solutions. So, it, you know, if you're asking for my favorite, I would say that what you get for free Superset is, is really great. Although, like I said, I haven't looked into Metabase that closely and I might look into it. If you just compare the visuals, I have to say Metabase looks pretty um, visually appealing, like they just have a little bit more polish compared to Superset. But sometimes you have really nice looking um, outer shells of products. And then when you dive deeper, the actual usage of the product might not be so great. So again, if you're interested in seeing content about Metabase specifically, let me know and uh, I'll look into that. But uh, in the upcoming videos, like said, I'll be looking into Superset more specifically, just because I feel that it's an interesting tool. A lot of people are using it. So I believe a lot of users on YouTube also would be benefiting from uh, more content about Superset. Because uh, when I was doing my own Googling and YouTube searches, I didn't find too much content. There is content, of course, I'm not saying that. But I think the Superset community could benefit from um, a lot more content on, on YouTube. So uh, if you have any specific questions about areas about Superset that you'd like to learn more about, um, any questions you, you might have, just let me know in the comments below. I'll uh, try to look into each and every one of those um, to the best of my uh, time and abilities. And then let's see what kind of videos we can create in the future. But like I mentioned, the upcoming videos shall be about how to move from querying database with the SQL lab to creating uh, charts and data visualizations, and then how do you turn those into dashboards that your colleagues, your team members can then use, including things like using date and other filters um, and, uh, and interacting with the dashboards and so on. So see you in the next one. Thanks.